Hi, hello, how's it going? My name is Liz and you're watching for Booking Out Loud. So today I am filming my September wrap up and I know in my TBR video for September, I had stated that I didn't think I was gonna read as much in September as I did in August. Well, yeah, that didn't go so well. <laughs> um, I lied. Clearly I did read as much. I will preface that with, I read a lot of audiobooks or a lot of audible special books, if that makes any sense. I found a lot of time in the morning to just listen to these books and they're pretty short, maybe like two to six hours. So I got through them pretty quick with varying degrees of quality, in my opinion. But nonetheless, they're done, they're finished, and I enjoyed myself. So in order to make this video as seamless as possible, I'm going to try to timestamp this and let people go through it how they want. And I'm going to order it like I ordered my last wrap up video where I show you my star ratings and then I go through the series, the authors, and then some novels of note. So editing list, let's take over. Here are my star ratings. Let's just get this out of the way. I have my computer right there. So if I'm looking down, that's because I need to remind myself on different notes I've taken about books and just the books themselves. With 40 books read, I need to keep a lot in my mind. The first series I wanna talk about is The Witcher. I was able to get another book of The Witcher done. I got Time of Contempt finished. And it was a fun continuation of the series, in my opinion. I think I'm going to just enjoy the first two in the series the most, just out of, I guess the reason why I started it was because I had watched the Netflix series. And the Netflix series is based off of the two short stories in the series, which are the first two, The Last Witch and The Sword of Destiny. And I loved those short stories. They're a very fast paced, full of action, and you don't get really bogged down on flowery language or politics, I guess. And as I'm continuing on the series, I'm noticing kind of a lack of action and more not action. There's just not a lot of payoff in this book and I'm hoping that the later books pick up a little bit, but what I've heard is that they don't. So we'll see. Now the next series is World of Howl by Diana Wayne Jones. And I was only able to read two out of the three books in this series, Howl's Moving Castle and Castle in the Air, because apparently a lot of people in my library want to read the third book. So I really enjoyed Howl's Moving Castle. I thought it was a beautiful read. I thought it was a wonderful children's fantasy, very different than the Ghibli movie. And rightfully so, they're completely different mediums and therefore they need to have a different plot line and different outcomes. Wonderful in their own ways. However, going into the second book, Castle in the Air, 
I was fairly disappointed. Uh, when I entered into the series, I was under the impression that this is a series, a trilogy on Sophie and Howell. However, the second book introduces a whole new set of characters and you don't even see Sophie until halfway through the book. And I really fell in love with Sophie in the first book. She really becomes a character of her own. And then not having her in the second book was a major letdown for me. I, I wanna finish the trilogy and I'm just waiting for my library book to get in. But I'm really hoping that the third book picks up a little bit and that I get more of Sophie. Now, I was able to finish The Last Olympian early this month. And then that means I finished Percy Jackson and The Olympians. I can't complain. This was a reread for me. I loved this book. I love how it ended. I loved how you saw the progression of the characters from 12 years old to 16. I enjoyed how you saw Rick Riordan as an author progress as well. It was just perfect and beautiful. Now moving on, I started and finished Heroes of Olympus. For some reason, these books got really long all of a sudden. Riordan decided to add 200 more pages than his last series in all of his books, because why not? I really enjoyed the Lost Hero and the Son of Neptune, the first two in the series, because you're introduced to new characters and Percy is missing, which I thought was a wonderful decision on Rick Riordan's part, because you're not filled with nostalgia and just comparing the books right off the bat. And then in Son of Neptune, you just have Percy. And that way, again, you're not filled with nostalgia. You have all these brand new characters and a new setting, but you still love the main character. So it's not completely confusing. Now getting into Mark of Athena, that's where it starts getting more complicated because you have so many new characters trying to keep them aligned. And they're not truly like, meshing in my opinion. I still really enjoyed this third book and it's really when we got into the House of Hades and the Blood of Olympus that I just didn't really enjoy these books as much. I mean in the first three you really focused on these new characters. You had Jason in book number one, Percy in book number two, and Annabeth in book number three. Who are we supposed to focus on in these last books? All seven plus characters? It's a lot to take in, even for a reader who has experience in all of these books. So what about a middle grade book for middle grade students? I'm just saying, not my favorite. Good series, but not my favorite. And then we get into Cain Chronicles. So the first one, The Red Pyramid, I really, really enjoyed. I loved the dynamic of the siblings in this. Sadie and Carter's relationship was what made this book for me. I really enjoyed too that Rare Orden's getting out of his comfort zone and they're not the son and daughter of gods. They're, you know, merely possessed by gods. And of course, it's Egyptian gods and not Greek or Roman gods. So it, it was an interesting twist and I did enjoy it. And I thought the next two were just great series. You had The Throne of Fire and The Serpent's Shadow. So they were just a decent young adult novel. Middle grade, one of those thinner books than the Heroes of Olympus series too, which in my opinion is a plus in all you need. So moving on to the Dark Tower series, I was able to finish two more in that 
beautiful series. I go back and forth with this one and this month just really showcases that. I truly enjoyed The Wolves of the Kala. I loved what King did with each of this character's storyline. I love how he gave each one a unique perspective and kind of the story of The Wolves of the Kala and the plot of that book. Again, I just liked it and it hasn't happened in this whole series for me. So that was a plus. I also really enjoyed having Callahan in this book, who is actually a character from Salem's Lot, one of my favorite King books. Didn't know I'd like it. Usually don't like it when authors do that too much. Thought he was just gonna be like a, here he is and gone or dead. Didn't happen. He continues on into Song of Susanna. Go figure. And I guess that's a good segue into Song of Susanna. And um, yeah, I don't like Song of Susanna and I really hated what he did with it. There was this one point and one character he introduced and I don't want to say it because I think it would ruin the book. So not a fan at all. And the fact that this is book number six out of seven and he does this to us, me, it's kind of personal at this point where I've been going back and forth from hating this series to really liking it. And at this point, I'm just so like, that I'm going to finish this series and never open another one of these books ever again. Because it just makes me mad. Because <laughs> it pulls you in and then it chews you up, stomps on you a couple of times, kicks you in the gut, and then throws you out into the rain. And then it like brings an umbrella back and tries to reel you back in. That's what this series has done to me so far. A little bit peeved about that. That's all. That's all. I only read one Stephen King this month. I had high hopes for reading quite a few more. Life gets in the way and I just wasn't up to King S books, but Carrie was an amazing read. I did not think I was going to like it at all. I picked it up because it was a short book and I just needed something to quickly go through at the time. And I loved it. It's one of my top King books now. A lot of people say the same thing. Don't know why I didn't believe them, now I do. I just love how King wrote this too. It goes back and forth between interviews and news articles and the story. And it always is foreshadowing this awful event that happens during prom that the story is centered around. And it truly makes you go back and forth, whether you love Carrie, hate her, think she's a monster, feeling sorry for her. And at the end, me personally, I felt truly sorry for her and I was with her with righteous anger, wanting her to commit that awful act. And I will preface this too, that I actually haven't watched any of the Carrie adaptations and now I truly do. It, it was just really good Stephen King book. Now, I also read Bunny by Mana Ogwad and Truly a book about a cult, a supernatural cult. And it was, it was interesting. Not my favorite horror. It has some interesting descriptions in that book. It's a horror mystery book, I would say. Maybe more horror thriller, but 
it, it, it was worth the read. I would suggest it to people who really do enjoy horror and who are interested in reading about cults because it was definitely the most culty book besides my nonfiction reads that I've read in a while. I was not expecting it to go the way that it did. Let's say that. Now, I also was able to get my hands on Cast by Isabel Wilkerson this month, and I believe that it came out this month or last month. And I love how Wilkerson writes. She is a nonfiction author and she approaches this book by stating that the American racial system is at its base a caste system. People are systematically put in their in their places racially by caste. And she does it in a very, very research way where she has researched like the Indian caste system and she takes historical instances where Nazi Germany looked at America as a case study on how to cast different racial groups. And that's how they were able to implement the Holocaust. She was just very upfront. She went through her journey writing this book, in this book, how she figured out her idea and how she systematically approached her research. It was just a really good read and another wonderful book, very important topic by Wilkerson, and I highly suggest it. And then I just finished Everything I Never Told You, and I am so glad I did. It was a beautiful novel about a Chinese American family living in America during the 1970s where their middle child is found dead for reasons unknown. And then they just literally go through the past and the present trying to figure out where the family or how the family got to the place they are today and why their middle child, Lydia, is dead. It was just a really heart-wrenching, actually, story and a beautiful read. Now, the last book I want to mention is a book of poetry that is actually a reread for me. It's called Blood Dazzler, Blood Dazzler by Patricia Smith, and it's a minute-by-minute minute retelling of Hurricane Katrina. It is a beautiful book of poetry, and it has so many not forgotten stories, but so many important stories to remember, giving voice to people who died, people who maybe lied to the residents of New Orleans that day, giving the voice to even animals that died during the hurricane. And it's just something that moves you when you read it, at least in my opinion. And I just find myself picking it up once in a while and absolutely enjoying it. It's always a five star for me and that hasn't changed since I first found it. And I do suggest it if you haven't read it, heard about it. Even if you don't like poetry books, there's just something about this one that I think you'd enjoy. Blood Dazzler. So, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wrap up video. I'm hoping it's a little shorter than last time and a little bit more precise. If you like my content, I post every Tuesday and Fridays. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. I finished thinner books than the blood of Olympus.
thinner books than 